Okay, I can't believe that most of you had fallen for this gimmick, the Creflo Dollar gimmick. What is the last name of this dude, Dollar? This dude is all about the money. He's not called by God. He's not anointed by God. This dude is in it for the money. This is a business for him. And this is no more than a gimmick because he don't really need to collect tithes from you because with the money that you guys are donating, all he have to do is say, the Lord told me to tell you, the Lord want me to do this and you guys will give the money. This is no more than a gimmick. Okay. It's no more than a gimmick. And the most of you didn't even take time out to listen to everything that he has to say. You only listened to the part where he said he'd been teaching wrong. He's been teaching, teaching tithe wrong. And you don't tithe sheep. You don't have sheep and goat uh, to give, right? You didn't really listen to his message. You didn't hear the game, the scam behind his message. All you heard was that he was teaching wrong when it comes to tithe. Tithing is wrong now is what he's teaching, but yet he's still getting the money. You're still giving him the money. You fell for it. Hook, line, and sinker. This is another scam. It's a gimmick. Now, the Bible says, bring all the tithe in the storehouse, that there will be meat in my house. Now, there are churches that survive, that barely survive off a of tithe, right? But what I found to be most interesting is that you ignore everything else he taught. If he taught anything about salvation, about coming out of sin, you turn a deaf ear to that. But then when he teaches about tithing and not and how tithing is wrong, now you want to support it. Now you're spreading the message because he's telling you that, you know, it's wrong. I've been teaching wrong when it comes to tithe. And now do you honestly believe that he's not going to take up any more money. Money makes the church run. It keeps the church running. And like I said, for those churches that do receive tithe, that's the only thing that's really keeping the church barely running are those tithe. So once you take those tithe away, once the people stop tithing, that church goes under because Every church is not as, as lucrative as Creflo Dollars. See, you have a lot of false teachers and preachers out there that's taking advantage of the people because they're giving you messages that you want to hear and not the messages you need to hear. See, if there's a message that you need to hear, then you want to bash the preacher. You want to talk about how bad he is and and he's over there trying to tell me how to live my life and you can't tell me how to live my life you can't tell me i can't shack up you can't tell me i'm not i'm 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 not gay you can't tell me this so you get mad at him if he were to tell you the truth and i'm almost guaranteed that you would not share that message but he comes out with a message that said he's been teaching wrong about tithe. And now all on uh, TikTok's timeline and on YouTube, all I see is people talking about Creflo Dollar. There need to be more preachers like him teaching the truth. Is that the only thing that he ever told that was truthful? That's the only thing that he told that was truthful. After he got all of the money out of you, 
He got jets. He's got a home. He's got businesses. He's got vehicles. His family is living good. If you never pay tithe to that church ever again, the man is already set. And you guys are now going to still, you're going to still issue out the cash. It's just not going to be called tithe. You didn't listen to his whole message. See, all he got to do is say, the Lord told me to tell you. And many of you or most of you are gullible enough to believe it. And then you had these, these fake Hebrew Israelites going to his church, harassing his parishioners, right? Out there preaching, talking about how he's teaching wrong, taking advantage of the people, right? So it's madness. This is another gimmick. And you guys fell for it. What's his name? Creflo Dollar. He's all about the money. He's all about the Benjamin. And you fell for it. Hook, line, and sinker. So feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.